Hey, what's up everyone? Back again with another RE3 tutorial. Today we're going to show you a very cool feature. This is the center out uh, engraving feature. Uh, this uh, enables you to uh, position the uh, laser head in a variety of different positions, but uh, probably most interesting is you can put the laser head directly in the center of the material and then have the machine engrave from there. Meaning instead of having the uh, laser start in the top left of your uh, design, you can place the laser in the center, bottom left, bottom right, uh, and we'll show you how to do that uh, right here. Okay, so the first thing you need to do in uh, your RE3 uh, workspace here is we're just gonna drag in a simple design so we have something to work with. This is just a little mandala from uh, the internet, uh, but obviously a, a not a box, uh, nothing with a binding box around it, um, a, an odd shape. Very difficult to place in the center of something uh, circular, but we'll show you how to do that here in a second. First thing you wanna do is come over here to the top left and press the little cog there to get into your settings menu. You wanna go over to the device tab and you want to switch uh, and make sure you have it on relative laser positioning. Now, if you have it in absolute, uh, that is essentially using the camera uh, and uh, having the actual position of the uh, material and the um, uh, design line up on the laser bed here. Uh, what we're going to do is have the laser head uh, determine uh, the positioning, so we're going to have it in relative. Uh, and then again on this menu, just as a quick reminder, uh, you have three options here for laser trajectory, exact, faxed, and mixed. I must always keep it on exact, uh, simply because it uh, always uh, has it best output. Um, but anyway, we're going to save these changes so that we're in relative mode here. And then off to the right here, now if you grab an object, it'll be uh, slightly different. So make sure you don't have an object uh, selected. In the top right here in the active project, you'll see relative start position. Take that and you'll see you have a bunch of options here. We'll kind of show you all the different options um, here in a second. Uh, but what we'll do here is we're just gonna click on center. Now what this is gonna do is wherever we put the laser head, that's gonna initiate that that's the, or indicate to the software that that's the center of this design. So when we position the laser head into the center of our uh, little block of wood we have, um, this is how uh, it'll work. So when you do that with a block of wood, here's how we're gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna just unlock the laser head and we have already found the center of this uh, piece of wood here. So after we unlock it, I can just drag this over with my hand, put the laser indicator right on the little center dot where I found it. And then when I hit lock again, now you don't want to hit home, you want to hit lock again. And when you hit lock, what's going to happen is the laser is going to actually home itself. And then it's going to come back directly to that position you just put it. Now, as you can see, using simple geometry, you can find the center of circle objects like this. But finding the center of a plate or other such things, uh, there's usually a little dot there or other ways to kind of find the center. So once we have the center here uh, back in the software, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and position this to be. We know that that is supposed to be three and a half. So we're just going to make sure that that's inside of our uh, circle. And then we can go ahead and um, run that. Now we'll show you the results of that here in a second. We'll hit play and get that going. But on uh, this little, um, we have a small diagram here to kind of show you. What this will show you is on the plate, you can actually position it in the top left, center, top right. Now on a plate, maybe not the best thing to show as an example, but using the center, obviously very useful. But if you have an object like this where every position you can kind of be found very easily, uh, if you have a, a, a design that you want to be directly in the center or even object like this, uh, it's really easy just to put the laser head right in that position. So as you can see, uh, very easy to do, um, uh, not a difficult uh, task uh, whatsoever. Uh, here's the end result of doing that engraving. I hope this helped out doing your center out engravings uh, using RE3. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and throw it down there in the comments. Uh, click that like button and subscribe to all these tutorials so you can get all the updated uh, tutorials and learn how to use all the new features included in RE3. We're adding new features all the time, so stay tuned and uh, thanks so much for watching.